Welcome to the Kalanago Territory. This region was established in the 20th century, but the Kalanago people's history on the island dates back to as far as 1000 AD. They were displaced after European colonization forced them off their ancestral lands. This territory is comprised of eight villages spread out across the island's east coast. It's a land of bush doctors, plant medicine, and carved totems, where legends and traditions have been passed down from generation to generation. Join me as we dive into a culture that has been relatively unchanged over the centuries. Let's go. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to beautiful, sunny Dominica. Today, I have a very, very special day for you. I'm taking you to explore the Kalanagu territory. This is the last remaining pre-Columbus tribe that exists in the area of the Caribbean. Where did they come from? Well, they came from Venezuela. They went all the way up through all the islands and eventually with colonialism, you know, French, Spanish, English were all here and they found this island to be the best, most protective, the natural landscape, the mountains. So they settled here in 1903. The British assigned to them this territory. Now come inside, let me show you the visitor center. So it cost 10 US dollars to enter, right? Pass is sold here. Let's go this way. This is the interpretation center. So over here we have a map of everything I just said, right? So the entire Caribbean, got South America, Venezuela, Colombia, Guyana, Suriname, and then they settled here in Dominica. They were all over here. And these are all the different names or the, the way they would say in their language, right? And over here, we have the history of the Kalanagu people and their heritage, right? So they're a group of Amer Indian people, also known as indigenous people. And over here we see pottery, tools, nature, food. Keep going through more history. You know, everything that's happened since then, you know, since the beginning, since they got to the land in 1903. Over here, you can see where we are. We are right here, you are here. And over here, they, this is some of the stuff they make, right? So they do weaving, a lot of weaving. A lot of crafts. Wow, crafts from a tree fern. That's what we saw outside. You know what? Guys, follow me. Let's go to the craft center. Craft center is right over here. This is amazing, look at this. What a view. So this was damaged uh, during Maria 2017. Now they fixed it up, it's renovated. Beautiful housing. So this is how traditional houses used to be, right? Hello. Hello how are you? Very, very good. So what are you making for us today? We are making some local necklaces, the local seeds, all these. Seeds come from different trees. Um. All of them are local, all natural colors. So I make some necklaces, bracelets, earrings as well. I am buying for my daughters today. Okay. I'm buying some stuff. So you can have a look inside, you'll see them, the necklaces. Oh wow, and there's a calabash? Yeah. Look at this, this is really nice. Wow, look at this, got beautiful baskets. I love these, made from ferns. Yeah. Look at this. So how much is this one? This one is 80 EC or 30 US. 30 US? This is from the seeds, what I make. Right. How much are these? 25 is 10 US. 10 US. So um, I may take for my daughters. I'll take this. I am going shopping today. <laughs> okay, those two. Let me see what else I got. They got baskets, huh? I see my daughter walking around the house like that. Or one of these. Look at these. The oh. made with the same material that we used to do the baskets. The ba um, it's called Lauma. They're super nice. We also have the earrings as well. Earrings as well. Yeah. So the earrings and those with the beads as well. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay. So how much for these? Those are 10 US. 10 US, 25 US. I like these. Yeah. Well, these are made locally. All right. So let me take, um, I guess I'll take for my daughters. It's probably too heavy, these. Maybe smaller ones. Maybe I take two of these. Let me not get anybody jealous, right? These are cool. Basket's super nice, though. I should get one for their mother. Look at that, bro. For bread? You put just bread on this, right? Yes. Or you could use it as a fruit basket. Fruit basket as well. I love this one. Yeah, this is nice. Also the overall shape as well. Wow. Well, okay, so I'll take this one. This is fine. Okay. This size is fine. And then I think I'm good in terms of baskets. My daughters, if I give them baskets, it's a little too much. But look, was, I would wear one of these. This is cool for a man. Oh, but it's too small for me. Let me see. Look at this, bro. Uh, this is very nice. This is all made here. Support the community, guys. Support the community. So what's your name? I'm Shamil. And what are you doing here? Um, just starting a basket. So which basket though? Like which um, size? Like it's it? a small one. In the shop, the small one, you could use for jewelry. For jewelry? Yeah, yes. So this is a small, that's the starting of it. So as you go along, you have to put strips. So it starts off with the, this shape? Yes, it starts off with um, 
eight pieces the top with it and then as you go along as you get larger like this in here as I reach here so I have to put some more strips in got it so that you get more than I could get to work it better break it out yeah. So how long is this total of the process for this? Is it like half an hour? Yes, I would say about half an hour for the small sizes. The bigger ones go faster, yes. But the smaller ones like more difficult because you have to take a lot of time to clean the material. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. Uh, but the yeah. bigger ones like those, this size, go faster for me. And what do you do? Do you do baskets? Do you do uh, necklaces? Yes, I do the baskets, the um, small baskets. The necklaces, earrings, and I use the same materials as well mm -hmm. to do the bracelets and the earrings as well. Fantastic. So they are they're all locally made. They're mm -hmm. not... So buy from her. Yeah. Come here, buy, support the community. Always bring a budget for that. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, this is beautiful. Just uh, the craftsmanship. I love all the different designs you have in there. So, so many different things. And your your brother makes these, yes. uh, the yeah, calabas. The calabas uh, yes. So that's the calabash seed, right? So they just carve it out. They may max, mask with it. They also do designs all over it. Very beautiful products. All right, so while she makes that, we're gonna walk out here and see the grounds, right? So a few different areas over here. There's like a small picnic area. This restaurant's closed, unfortunately. Over here, you can sit down and eat as well. And if you go this way, we have the incredible Atlantic Ocean. Love it. Straight that way, we got Africa. Oh, you know, what? hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I was here, Calanago, Barana, Aute, Calanago territory. Let's go. <laughs> All right. And over here, we have the ferns. I just bought one, and they have them on like almost like Easter Island, right? But not like Easter Island. <laughs> this is great. Cool, huh, Nate? It's amazing. Oh, dude, you know what? Come here, come here, come here, come here. There's a view over there, but this is better. Come, come. Wow, look at this. There's people come. Beautiful river going into the Atlantic Ocean. This is actually stunning, stunning. What a spot, huh? Look at that, you can go there into the pool, you can wash your clothing. Amazing, amazing. Calanago territory in Dominica. Nate, are you good? I'm doing really well, man. Look at how beautiful this is. Can't beat this. No, this is incredible. Look at this, guys. Look at the floor. It's going up here. What a view. It's gonna be an exciting day. We still have some uh, cassava bread making and we're gonna go to a waterfront nearby. Can't wait. Look at this view. What a view. Wow. All right. It's done? It's done. We were there for a while. Sorry, we wanted to see that place. It's so beautiful. It's a small basket. Wow. So it only takes 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the size. And you know what? So I have $2 and a niece. So do you have, you have two more? Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Oh, she does right here. Look, look, look. She set this up. So this is what I'm taking for my kids. And my niece. I bought a lot of stuff here. You pay an EC or US? Uh, I have e EC. It's all the little pieces, right? So I got earrings, necklace, bracelets, a basket, three of these, and the, the mask for myself. Basically, this is all for my kids. I'm going to deliver it to them with everything inside, you know? Yeah. Just like that. Easy. Yeah, they're going to love it, right? What do you think, Nate? Awesome. You feeling good, Bongo? How much? It's 3.85. So right now the exchange rate is 2.6 to 1. So that's in favor for the US dollar. So uh, I pulled out 400, which was like 130 or something. Uh, so I have it zacked, right? So here, right here. So we got 300, 380, 85. Five? Yeah. 85. I need five more. Nate, help me out. Total, it was 385, which is roughly like 130 US dollars, something like that. And this is one of my favorite pieces ever for my wall. And then the basket and all the little baskets with all the jewelry. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate it. Home. Thank you. So guys, come, support. Now let's go get some cassava bread. Let's go. Bongo, ready? Bongo gets. Bongo gets. Anything you need, Bongo gets. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. That was amazing. Let's go. Let's go. Beautiful coastline.
I agree. This place is gorgeous. Seatbelt, Mongo, seatbelt, safety first. <laughs> this house, though, is incredible right here. They're out here, not, and just minding their own business. Yeah. You know, locked away in a beautiful fortress. It's, it's a natural paradise fortress. Incredible, huh? This is why I love the Caribbean. Is it, uh, is it really warm on the, like, uh, on the Atlantic side, or how's the water? It's, it's windier, for sure. Yeah, well, I'm not the same thing in the road. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe take one of the slow ones. This one? Yeah, let's take one, like, one branch. One so, branch? Yeah. I drained you. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah. So you want to take that? Do your kids, you do that? Honey, sir. Yeah. Do it with sweet. Not only the last sweet, but. Let's see. It's in the middle. This is the shop? Cassava yeah, bread? He sells it, but he's gonna do it for you. Let's go. And you know what? I need glasses for this one, I think. Let's go, guys. So, Daniel Cassava is here. His house is up here. And he has a cassava farm here, right? Woo! Whew. What a hike already, huh? Hey guys, how you doing? Hello. Hey, my man, how you doing? Yes. How's everything good? Yes. Yes, good. Are we doing it inside here, or what are we gonna do? Inside, I doing that way. Okay. Yes. Yeah. No, no. Who are you working for? Who is the company? That I have my own YouTube channel, so I make my own videos on YouTube. Oh, you do your own. Yeah, YouTube it's my own. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. 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 So it's first time you have been on, on the island. First time on the island, my friend. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's good. That's good. First time, so I'm excited to see it. I've done this a few times, I've done it in Guyana. Uh, I've seen it done also in uh, Trinidad, but I've never seen it here besides today on the street. Okay, okay, you know? okay. Well, first of all, this building down there, that is the Kalinago, that is the cassava building. Th that, that's the cassava building right there? It's this one, this one is the cassava building. This is where we do all the cassava. It was destroyed in the time of the hurricane, so we're trying to renovate it back. You know, put it back in place. Um, all the machines and everything was destroyed in the time of the hurricane. In fact, we lost a lot of things because, you know, I mean, we used to have all our computers and um, well, uh, we try to renovate it as much as we can. You know, we still have some work to do on it. After I build a small one over there where I do demonstration right there. If no I, problem, if no I problem. Know, if I know, I would fix it up and, you know, I mean, we would do the bridge right there. Okay. <laughs> but we didn't know. So, Bongo didn't get it. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> out. And then I'm going to take one there so we can, we can start a fresh one. Perfect. So, so. You, uh, so I'm just letting this one there cook just um, a few minutes and, and from that I'm going to take it out. And what type of uh, cassava bread do you do here? Well, for now I do, I do the coconut cassava now. Today we do the coconut cassava. But usually I do a lot, before I used to do a lot of flavors. I do ginger, I do raisins. I do tuna, cassava with tuna, I do cassava with pineapple, you know, I do coconut and I do the, also the plain ones. And also, I also do the farin product. That is when you dry it in the large pot, you dry it and you turn it into a, into like a cereal. I also do, do this one. But for today, I only do this, only the coconut cassava I do for today. I get into cassava. When I get into the cassava, Cassava, there was no price in the root, what they call the tuber, there was no price at all, no price in cassava. And I was the first one who write a project and give the cassava price, a price. The tuber would carry a price. Because why I put a price on it is if you have to write a project, you must include in the project what is the price for cassava. And it is there where I put a price. The people in the past, they never planted cassava to sell cassava. They come as a group, and what happened, they would grit together. When they finish make cassava, they would share, the, share all the farin, and they would make special cassava, what they would call cassava mushas. Now, in English, you would say cassava with starch. They would do that, and they would share it for all the individuals that working together. They didn't used to work for no money. So we, so we do it like this. So Daniel is the pioneer of cassava here on Dominica. 
uh, 20 years ago, he basically started the, the movement. And then now you can find it in Rosso and you can find it in Portsmouth. I did it in both places in the market and then also in the market today. So two markets, right? Uh, and this is gonna be amazing. Can't wait to try it. Looks nice and crispy. Looks like a nice little, you know, cassava pancake. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, you can try this one here. Oh, try this one here? Let's do it. Look at this, ooh, it's hot. Mmm, mmm, it's gooey. Oh yeah. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Thank you. Sweet, crispy. Mm. Oh yeah, it's good. Yeah. Tasty. It's so hot though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too hot. We figured that we had to keep on turning it so it's not overburn. Okay. Oh, after you put it on your fixed up, then you have to press it. You have to press it on the side so that it can binds together. And you leave it for the next few minutes so it can make up itself. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's like crunchy, it's sweet. Mm. I will dip in honey. Yes. Have honey? Yeah, we don't have today. <laughs> I bought honey yesterday. Like when you open it, it's like that. It's almost like oozing out like cheese, but it's it's not that melty, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. Very enjoyable. It's like savory and sweet. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes, welcome. Thank you, thank yes. you. Appreciate you. Can barely see you in there because of the silhouette, but it was delicious. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Daniel. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys. Bongo's waiting for us. Let's get back in the car and let's head. Uh, possibly to see a waterfall, maybe some more crafts. I have no idea what we're doing right now. We'll see. Bongo, let's go. Let's go, Bongo. Yes. All right, guys, so we're stopping for 30 seconds here to see this little gift shop. This is how it is on the road here. Hey, guys, how you doing? No one's here. So no one's here, but it's the same stuff, right? So we have the baskets, we have the mask made out of a fern. Um, we have some, what else, some earrings, some necklaces. Look at this, look at the turtles, guys. Well, the lady isn't here, so we're gonna keep going. Let's continue, let's see what else we find on the side of the road. Let's go, let's go. Bongo! She wasn't there. Yeah, yeah I was just looking. No one was there. <laughs> no, the thing is that I walk in there and there's like no one there. I'm like, okay, so what do they got here? But uh, beautiful stuff. No, so they had some turtles and some pigs that were like made from some nuts. Really, really nice. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, but uh, the rest of it was all the same, you know? The well, so we're going south, huh? No, right now we actually go in north west. So right now we're on the like, northeast of the country and we're going back to the west. So yeah. It's amazing. See, I wish we had more stuff like this in America, you know? Yeah. This no, is awesome. Like this that. is like separated. It feels like a different country out here. Bro, it's cool. It literally does. It's cool. Church of Nazarene. That's a church? Street food? So yeah, we pretty much get in out of the territory. I wanted to show you the Pigwa Bay. Pigwa Bay? Yes. What do they do down the river? River Tubin, that river. The water comes from the waterfall that we'll be going to. Yeah, so we're gonna turn off here to go check out the waterfall. All right, guys, look at this. Come, let's go inside. Just your hair, just your hair, just your hair. How are you doing, everything good? Yes. How are you? Not red. <laughs> I love the kit. I'm wearing your country right here. <laughs> Not the so best. That's how it looks, huh? It looks super tight right there. Does it hurt? The Not braiding? Really. Not really? No. That's the one thing I never did when I had hair. I never did braid. I should have done braids at least once. Well, thank you so much for letting me film. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Nate, that was awesome. You like that? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, Bungle Gets. Let's go. Bungle Gets. I'm glad we saw that. That was really cool. Awesome. That's culture. Yes. Our next stop is Jacko Falls, right? Level on the Jacko Falls. Beautiful. Level of difficulty, easy. All right, so we have this huge staircase. Let's go down. Unless you're a cameraman. 
I mean, this is epic, right? We're in the middle of the jungle here. Nice. You can hear it. Like no one here. The lizard. Just careful here. Super, super wet. All right. Let's make it to the falls. Chaco Falls. Yes, dude, the bridge and everything, dude. Super easy hike. One minute down. Oh, this is incredible water. I want to go in here so bad. I didn't come with a bathing suit because I have so many things I'm doing today that are in a kitchen. But you know what? I'm getting in there. Have to get in there. Oh yeah. I didn't drink. Oh dude, it's cold. It's cold. There's no one here. No tourists. This is just a marvel, right? So this is the one thing you have to do when you come to Dominica. Go to waterfalls. Come with shorts. Dive in the water. Relax. Enjoy the scenery. There's no poisonous animals here. So you'll always be fine. And drink the water. Feels good. All right, guys, we have to run out of here because it's starting to rain. There's crabs, there's fish, there's lizards. Let's go, let's go. All right, so you gotta be careful here. Look, it's slippery. Plus, starting the rain, obviously, we are in a rainforest. 98% of Dominica is rainforest. The nature island. I love it. Everywhere I look, there's a crab. So I'll grab another one, I'll grab another one. Oh, 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 come, 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 come. Look at him right there. All right, let's go. One more gets. Let's go, let's go. Ah! Well, it was raining for a little while. Now we made it back to the coast and we're going up north and we're going to Marigot. So Marigot is where the airport is. Uh, it's right here, beautiful little village, very hilly, scenic views everywhere. And everywhere you look, there's locals doing something, right? It's been an amazing day and we're gonna finish it off right here at this beautiful beach. Look at this, it's gorgeous. Wow, stunning scenery, right? Atlantic Ocean, over there, we were just there. Caranago territory, this is Margot. And then over here we have uh, Marigalant. I think that's how you say Marigalant Island, French island. And north, what do we have? Guadalupe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure in the Calanago territory. We saw them weaving, we bought some things, we learned the history, we ate the food. Then after that we saw an incredible waterfall. I wish I could have got in, but we were pressed with time. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and let me know, have you ever been to Dominica? If you haven't, you have to come. Please subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And I'll see you in the next one, somewhere on this beautiful island. Let's go.